In this video coming up guys, I'm going to talk about why I think Call of Duty World War 2 is dead. Yo everybody and welcome back to another video guys. Here today, we're obviously going to be looking at why Call of Duty World War 2 is dead, dying or gone. But before this video does start, I quickly like to say, if you guys can, subscribe, drop a like on the video. Let me know if you guys want to see some more videos kind of like this. Um, and obviously, let's get into it. Okay, so reason one why Call of Duty World War 2 is dying is because of loads of different games coming out and taking up the market, making people kind of move away from Call of Duty. Um, this can include like Fortnite, which is kind of crazy considering it's just like a free game that is made by like Epic Games. Like, I'm not saying like it's bad. It's just amazing. I've really been enjoying it. I played so much. I think I'm like level like. 50 nearly as you guys may have seen on my like, recent streams so fortnite is like taking over quite a bit of the community on um cod due to like it being like a different game obviously like the battle royale is really blown up at the moment and the fact that cod's kind of like the same every year constantly in that shooter 6v6 sometimes it's obviously ground war um it's kind of dying due to that because like all it is is just the same thing over and over again and to really get back into the market, I think they either need to make like a battle royale mode or have loads of different gamers like Prop Hunt coming out all the time. Another reason why Call of Duty World War 2 is kind of dying is because when DLC 1 did come out in January, like right at the end, it's obviously February now, there wasn't a lot of like YouTubers covering it because if you guys did like obviously watch a lot of YouTube, you will know when the DLC for Call of Duty 2 came out. Like you were, I was expecting like everybody covering it, like Ali A. All the big YouTubers, kind of like that. I, I can't have to name like loads more, like prestigious key. Obviously me as well. I, I, I was, I should have covered it really, but like no one really covered it. And it was really quite strange, like. And obviously that is kind of due to Fortnite taking over quite a lot of people's channels at the moment, like including myself. And it's just crazy to be fair that like no one made any content on the World War Two DLC. This could like mean that like no one really knew about the DLC, and it kind of means the game's gonna die because. No one's going to be like going back on it to see what these new maps are about. And also to do with the um, DLC pack one, um, they didn't. They only had three multiplayer maps. Um, some people didn't like that. I think it's kind of fine because I think the three multiplayer maps were really good. I haven't actually played any of them, but um, I've seen like, quite a bit of gameplay on it and they seem really good. And also the war map seems very good as well. And I haven't really seen a lot of bad zombies, but... I, what I've heard it seems pretty good as well so definitely recommend the season pass um, if you guys still do play Call of Duty World War 2 also in Call of Duty World War 2 um, Sledgehammer need to get a little bit more um, talkative with the community they have a couple of times in the beta and very recently they have actually um, come a bit transparent with a few problems with the game like um, war apparently not giving you like, the right amount of score and all that kind of stuff but they need to get a lot more um, talkative with the community and like listen to our feedback because they still haven't implemented things like a hundred points domination which was asked in the beta and still hasn't happened this would just make domination so much so much more of a fun game mode because there'll be so many streaks going on so much more happening because it's currently takes 10 kills to get uav which is ridiculous and obviously to get like a bigger streak like paratroopers which get you like three kills is like 20 plus kills which is actually ridiculous but obviously that's without taking any points take a few points you might bring it down to like 15 16 i don't know but still that is actually crazy and also some of the events they come and go all the time for example like prop hunt and demolition so these gamers come for example like weekend warfare like you can imagine in like infant warfare remastered they come for like about a week's time or maybe just in the weekend and then they go and after they go for most people like me I don't know what to do after that event's gone because like the fun gamers like Demolition, Prop Hunt um, and some others are just gone there's nothing really to do anymore like if they for example brought like Slasher Infected to the game left like Infected left like maybe like Demolition in the game forever and have Prop Hunt and Slasher going every couple of weeks I would be um, more likely to play the game for the fact there's more gamers like Infected Infected for me is like the favourite game mode. Let me know, let me know let me know your guys' opinions down below. What's your favourite game mode ever to be in Call of Duty? It might be like Slasher, I don't know. Let me know in the comments section down below. And obviously these game modes are great, the ones they do actually bring into the game. Um obviously prop hunt is prop hunt demolition is um where you got bomb um one of two things and you can try and get both of them, you get unlimited lives, everyone's got a bomb. They're just great game modes, um to be honest. Um why people leave after they go, like what is what I mean by like people leaving after um the events go it's like, as soon as Prop Hunt goes, like I said earlier, I don't want to come back to the game because there's nothing to do, okay? So, 
They need to really add more game modes permanently, like I said, with Infected. Infected should have been there since launch. That would have been an amazing game mode. And I think that would have kept me going on um, Cold World War 2 for longer and kept me in the game, kept me playing. So if they do listen to the community a bit more, listen to what we want to see in the game, I think they could do a really good job. Okay, but one last thing I do want to talk about is the kill streaks. So do them listen to the to the community. We have been crying out for a kill streak buff. And what hasn't happened? A kill streak buff. We need to see that in this game. Because all like the best Call of Duty is like Modern Warfare 3 and those kind of games is they have really good kill streaks and they really reward you for doing really good in the game. Whilst in this game it's not very good. Like for example you get paratroopers which is like a 12 plus kill streak. And what do they get you? A measly two kills sometimes. And even if you play hardcore, they're not any better. They have like less health and they literally die. You could even just shoot them down out of the sky from the other team. So they are ridiculously bad. They need to be definitely buffed, made more health, or maybe just a few more of them. Definitely to get you maybe four or five kills would be absolutely brilliant. But anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, do guys drop a like, subscribe. I will have another video talking about some very big news coming out very soon. So if you guys are excited for that, do guys drop a like, subscribe. Drop a comment down below, and I'll see you all soon. Right, you motherfucker, yeah.